Hey, hey, Fash, 27th of December, 2018, and there is, uh, once again, a lot of stuff here that's just being shown that uh, I can't really put together exactly, but I'll tell you what, it has something to do with giants <laughs> uh, being led to see something about giants this morning. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff that it connects to, as usual. Everything is interconnected. That's the thing. And, and, you know, we can never really put it all together. Uh, only God, you know. And so I, I'm just going to go through this stuff because it's crazy. Um, I guess I'll start here. Uh, Israel launched a missile attack against Syria on Christmas Day, uh, which I thought was pretty low. To be honest with you, I mean, why Christmas Day? You, you couldn't pick, you know, the next day? So, you know, that's that. And the reason that upsets me, I think, a lot is because I was just reading the other day about the Christmas truce that occurred in World War One, 1914, when uh, these men were literally just massacring each other in trenches. And Christmas Day, uh, they sang songs together, they, they put down their guns, they hung out together, they exchanged gifts, they played games, everything. Uh, but the, the leadership wouldn't have anything to do with that. The, the presidents and the dictators and the kings and queens, they, they'd have no part of that true stuff, you know what I mean? On Christmas Day. So they ended up massacring millions of more people over the next four years after this. Think about it. And, and all the powers that be just celebrated the end of World War I in Paris under an arch, okay? This is where it leads to this arch, the Arch of Titus to be more specific. Because yesterday, okay, now the Israel thing kind of comes back into play here in a minute. Um, but I saw this. Christmas Day reenactment of George Washington crossing the Delaware River, crossing the river, nixed for second year in a row. And, you know, the river was high, and it's strange that two years in a row they haven't been able to do this. But as I was reading down here, I noticed that this takes place in Washington Crossing, Pennsylvania, and Titusville. Titus. Titus was the one who sacked Jerusalem. And took all the temple treasure, right? So, and Titus also, uh, back to the other day, the beehive cluster came into that somehow. The one that's known as the manger. This is in, in the constellation of Cancer, and it's also known as M44, okay? So, the manger, M44, and if you read in here about the, uh, the mythology uh, you'll find a bunch of stuff, but the beehive, a thousand stars, and a thousand points of light, also known as M44. And you read this little write-up too, and it explains how this has a direct relation to the battle against the Titans. The Titans, and, and this was in Titusville, okay? That they're all related. Titus comes from the Titans. And the Titans were Greek and Roman mythology. Uh, basically superhuman giants, if you will. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff out right now in regards to Titans. It's very strange how they put this stuff out to the public. And uh, you can find all about Titans everywhere. It's, it's pretty pretty crazy. Dawn of Titans, Gods Awaken, all right? This is very, very popular. So I see this, and it's related to the Titus and the Titans. So I'm not sure which way to go with this. Do, is it to do with the arches? Is it to do, what is this all about? I, I don't really understand it. It'll come or it won't, one or the other, right? So this is all related, interrelated to each and everything, the, the bumblebee. Remember that came out on Christmas Day. And he's a giant. And, and he's also a transformer. Transformer, transhuman, transgender, trans everything. And he's a giant, 
okay? And they're conditioning people to have sympathy and empathy for robots and giants and machines, okay? Because that's what this is all about, is getting people ready to be ruled by artificial intelligence, essentially. But what it really is, is the spirit of Satan, okay? So these all this giant stuff is popping up everywhere. And I mean, I get lost in this stuff. There's so much. You remember the other day, okay? The Indonesian tsunami, okay? Now it's at 430, which is weird because that also happens to be the same amount of days, or years rather, that the Israelites were captive in Egypt came to pass at the end of 430 years. So the same day it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. 430 years. Like, exactly. That's pretty pretty weird in and of itself. But you remember the, the volcano itself was called Anak Krakatau? Well, lo and behold, I mean, this is crazy stuff, you guys. In the Bible, in Genesis... Genesis 6 it talks about there being giants in those days and also after that when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them to became the mighty men which were of old men of renown the titans basically and and you look here at numbers 1333 of all places it could be right when they when Moses sent the spies into the land to spy it out there they saw the giants, the sons of Anak. The same exact name that this uh, volcano has. Anak, Krakatau, that killed the 430 people. The same amount of years the Israelites were captive in Egypt. Okay, And so it brings you back to Israel in a sense because 70 years ago, Israel became a nation, right? And if we, th we think about the giants biblically, right? When, when did God finally have enough, right? And he said, I'm going to have to flood the earth because these giants and all this evil is everywhere continually. So in Genesis 7, with Noah, in the 11th verse, in the 600th year of Noah's life, the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven open. 7-11, Genesis. So here I am. I'm, I'm thinking, wow, this is weird. 70 AD is when Titus sacked Jerusalem and took the temple treasure, right? 70 AD. That's when that happened. And I have some images just to show you guys so you know what I'm talking about. The Arch of Titus has this carved right into it. The sacking of Jerusalem. Okay, so 70 AD. Which, if you go back to 70 AD, when the temple was uh, sacked, I put 9-11 70 AD. But you can go back into July, August. It won't matter when it re refers to this number right here. 711. Same exact as when the heavens were opened for the flood. 711,000 days since that sacking of Jerusalem by Titus, right? Which is also 1948 years. When was Israel reborn? In 1948, we are in the 70th year. And it was sacked in 70 AD, 1948 years ago. <laughs> Think about that. It's pretty crazy. But the, the Washington Crossing, when, when, when um, Moses sent them into the Promised Land to spy it out, they had to cross the river, right? Washington crosses in... Titusville, the Titans. This is just crazy stuff. And don't forget that that uh, the beehive, this is interesting too. The beehive cluster is M44. And that, of course, reminds me of Obama. And, and what has been found out about Obama when we look at his uh, official presidential portrait? 
He has six fingers, like the giants. Think about this. Okay, so it's all like coming back around, and and it just never, it doesn't end. It really doesn't. This uh, event here in 1776, I just went back to look from then to now. I mean, that's all I did. December 25th, 1776, I went to this Christmas because, you know, that's the anniversary. And look at the day. That's that's pretty nuts. 88, 388. And it, and it goes deeper than that, but still. I mean, it just goes on and on, you guys. That's all I can say, really. So, the Titans, the Giants, and it, it, it's still not over. I don't know how I could ever... Uh, articulate this any other way than this um, the Titans you know what this is brought me to crazy stuff you guys the awakening sculpture everybody is probably familiar with this this is the giant sculpture that comes out of the ground it's a big giant reaching up out of the ground and it was moved to Washington of all places it was moved to Washington right outside of DC get a load of this the giant okay if you know anything about DC okay you know it's a giant square it's a cube okay Washington DC see the line goes up goes up like this it's a giant 10 by 10 square exact 10 by 10 square and there's a lot of reasons for that but that giant is right here on the Potomac River National Harbor is where that giant is emerging right at the point of the cube in Alexandria okay think about that Alexandria was like the the depository of knowledge back in the day okay Alexandria was the 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 grand library all the knowledge all the the philosophers and everything it, and then it was burned, you know, but a lot of that knowledge was looted and saved. And to this day, these evil ones are using this knowledge in order to rule the rest of us. But eventually it's just going to destroy itself because that's what humanity will do. Okay, it's just really boils down to that. Choose good, choose bad. It's, it's, it's a battle that is emerging from a spiritual realm into the natural realm. And you need to understand that that's where the real battle is. It's for your eternal soul, which can only be saved through Jesus Christ, the Messiah. That's all there is to it. So I hope that made a lick of sense to somebody. But giants, oh, wait a minute. I'm not done, I'm afraid. This is, this is the craziest part of it all. Now, this is my YouTube channel, right? I can't explain it. But do you see this image right here? This is a Google Don't Be Evil YouTube gallery image when I created this channel, which was seven, eight years ago. Never even touched this channel up until a couple years ago. It just sat there. Um, but I haven't changed anything. I didn't change the image. I didn't change my icon or anything. If you look closely at this image, we're speaking about the giants. What do you see right here? I pulled that image in so you could get a little bit better look. Okay. This is, this is where I grabbed right here. That is a giant emerging out of the earth. That's what it is. A giant emerging out of the earth. You can see his mouth right there. He's not fully out of the earth yet. And his nose, his eye, his other eye, the top of his head. If we look back here, it's like a little a whole gang of them, a parade of them are coming out of there. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, do you see that? The eye, the eye, the nose, the mouth, the chin. It's like an army of giants emerging out of the depths. Isn't that crazy? Right on the YouTube channel. Thank you, Google. I mean, amazing stuff. So, man, I mean, I got to show this stuff as crazy as it is. I have to. And, and I, this is the only full-size image I could find. Um, but it's not that great a resolution. But look at that guy. I mean, how obvious does it have to be? 
it's a freaking giant emerging out of the 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 ground just like this guy where did he go this guy the awakening in alexandria <laughs> wow I'm telling you man giants think about it this is all real stuff you guys i don't know what else to tell you genesis 6 4 the 430 years uh anak anak krakatau why do you think they'd name it that whatever it's just crazy man but the giant on the youtube and then look at this number right here this is really interesting on the boat and it's seven five seven seven eight and if i'm not mistaken we are still in the hebrew year of five seven seven eight right so seven 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 five seven seven eight i mean there's a lot you could do with that but that's crazy it's all crazy the giants the titans washington crossing the river like the spies in titusville the titans this is crazy seven uh, eighty-eight thousand three hundred eighty-eight days ago titus sacked jerusalem seven hundred and eleven thousand days ago 1948 years i'll link everything i cannot put this together uh any better because it's just so much but we're going to see some crazy stuff, or the world is going to see some crazy stuff that may very well include giants. And then Obama with the six fingers, like the giants, among many other things. It's insane. But this is what we do. Praise God. And uh, I hope this blesses somebody. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 